How's it? In the CowboyDocSports.com. Hope you guys are doing coming at you here on Saturday, October the 12th. Video a little bit later today, but it is a good video. Excited to get it to you. Um, I think you'll enjoy the content today. So we're we're going to get to it here. Uh, your free play today is going to be between um, Oregon and Ohio State. And that game goes off. That game goes off at 7.30 today. Also give you a lean on Ole Miss LSU and uh, Florida, Tennessee. Uh, and then we'll talk about some NFL games. Houston, New England, uh, Tampa Bay, New Orleans, Pittsburgh, Las Vegas, and Atlanta, Carolina. I am going to do a live show. I did do a live show yesterday, as you know. So this will have about eight free selections. Um, I did do uh, a live show yesterday, um, which talked about um, Florida, Tennessee, and Illinois, Purdue, and Vancouver, Philadelphia, Georgia Tech, UNC, Kansas State, Colorado. Talk about a lot of games there. And... Um, you know, that Georgia Tech game was was a great uh, YouTube premium thought, which was on the over, which hit easily. And I told you about it, and it was fantastic. So, again, join me on the live show tonight. I'm going to try to do the live shows at night, and that way you get a 10- to 12-hour head start before everybody else. So, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 19 years. Doc Sports, 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my free daily podcast. Our best selections are at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva or Indian Cowboy. Our next best selections are free picks and leans. Uh, which is the daily video that you're watching right now. We, of course, have our popular YouTube premium teaching channel for $20 a month. You get a live show every single day from Monday through Sunday. And um, right before we do our daily video, which you get it the night before, which is a massive advantage. You get the games before anybody else. You get the best lines. You get 200 plus games for $20 a month. It is a recorded podcast. You can re-listen to any time. And you get a written summary at the end. Awesome value. Plus, you get to hang out with me in a live setting, and you get to ask me any questions you want. So one of the best deals on the internet there. And that uh, usually comes at your 9.30 uh, pretty much every night. So the link to YouTube Premium is in the comments section as well as the link to how to get to free $60 to the premium selections. If you want even more content, be sure to check my Twitter. It has our latest updates, our hot takes on sports, popular consensus reports, and our latest videos are posted there. So what do I need to tell you here? Well, what I need to tell you is that our free, well, yeah, we have six football plays that are uh, on the docket. One of them is off the board, and that is the Mississippi State-Georgia game. So hopefully you'll join us for that selection I'm sorry, not that selection. Hopefully you'll join us for the six-unit selection, which goes off tonight, which I'm very excited about. And, uh, you know, that game is between Vanderbilt and Kentucky, which I think you'll love. Uh, and then, obviously, we have the seven-unit between the Chargers and the Broncos, Jags and Bears, Washington, Baltimore, Cleveland, and Philadelphia. We're hoping to have a great football week. We're hoping to go, you know, four and two or five and one this week. So I can't wait for you to join us. All right? All right, let's get to our free play winner today. And it's going to be on the under between Oregon and Ohio State. So, you know, my free play today was either going to be on this game or it was going to be on Ole Miss, right? It was going to be on one or the other. And um, I think, the, by the way, I think the, our free play on UNLV missed yesterday, which brings us to an 8-2 and two free pick run. Um, yeah, I don't think UNLV covered yesterday. I think it was like, I don't remember what line I gave you, but I'm going to count it as a loss because I think I gave you um, something like 19. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I, like the, I like the under here. Um, I could have gone with Ole Miss, but rather I'm going to go with the under here. I think both these teams haven't faced these type of elite defenses so far. And I know that everybody's on the over, but I like the under 54 here. 54, 54 and a half. And I think that's probably better because LSU has revenge against Ole Miss from a bad beating last year. So I like Oregon and Ohio State under the 54, 54 and a half here. So this is a fantastic public fade to start with. Both these teams, in mind you, are 5-0. and oh. These two teams have not met since 2021. And Ohio State has won five in a row coming in, beating Akron, Western Michigan, Marshall, Michigan State, and Iowa. But no one can argue they haven't really played anyone. Oregon has won five in a row as well. And I think neither team has really faced elite competition when it comes to defense. And therefore, I would not be a bit surprised here to see this game go under 54 or 54 and a half between Oregon and Ohio State today. As far as Ole Miss and LSU, I still like Ole Miss here. What do you? Who do you really trust, Kiffin or Kelly? I trust Kiffin by far. Tennessee is a top ten team, and LSU is around that uh, same number, uh, top fifteen or so. But Tennessee went into USC, which is South Carolina, and won twenty seven to three. They are three points from being undefeated, and they nearly beat Kentucky as well, and or else they would be undefeated, right? And they just had a bad game, and Kentucky nearly defeated Georgia. Uh, so it's not like Kentucky is a bad team by any stretch of the means. LSU barely got past South Carolina, and they beat UCLA, who's struggling. So LSU hasn't been overly impressive. And they did lose their opener to USC as well, which looks a little bit suspect now, although USC is having a good game against Penn State. But I like Ole Miss minus the points for sure. I think they're the better team. Florida, Tennessee here. I'm going to go with Florida here. I don't, don't you feel like Florida is on the uptick here? I do. It reminds me of that South Carolina game when they faced uh, Alabama today. 
and they were right there. Why was South Carolina only a 21-point dog against my Alabama Crimson Tide coming off of a loss? Alabama's coming off a loss. Why isn't that line like 27 and a half? And that's the same way I feel about Florida here, even though Tennessee's coming off of a loss, which is 14 to 19 against Arkansas. I think Florida's actually got an uptick here. I think they had a huge win against UCF. I think they had the huge win against Mississippi State. And, you know, I understand that Tennessee beat Oklahoma 25 to 15, but I think Florida is definitely on the uptick here. I think Florida is more battle tested than people are willing to give them credit for. And I actually like Florida here. And I think they hang tough, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah. So as far as the NFL is concerned, as you know, we have a seven unit and a couple of four unit selections. But between Houston and New England, I like Houston here. New England has become back down to earth, which everyone expected. Houston, huge wins over Buffalo, beat the Jaguars, only lost to Minnesota. Allen went 9 for 30 that game, which you have to give Houston a lot of credit. The Patriots have lost four in a row here. You know, the sink is shipping fast here. Brissett is definitely not the answer. Um, I mean, only scoring 10 points last game against the Dolphins is terrible. I think the only way to look at this game is a small lean on Houston, but it's such a huge public play. But I think you can also look at the Tampa Bay New Orleans under the post of total two. Tampa Bay is 3-2 and two, and New Orleans is 2-3. and three. Tampa Bay comes off of a tough loss to the Falcons on national television. Um, this team did beat Detroit and Washington early in the season. Washington is now much better, though. Cousins, by the way, threw for 500 yards last game and four touchdowns. No way New Orleans allows for that here. New Orleans lost to the Chiefs, Falcons, and Philadelphia. Rattler is a new QB here. They could unite They could unite around him um, as well. But I think at the end of the day, the under does make a lot of sense here. Uh, don't forget our seven unit is between the Chargers and Denver, and the four unit between the Jags and Bears, four unit Washington, Baltimore, and four units. Philadelphia and Cleveland as far as Pittsburgh and Vegas uh, in uh, the NFL I like the over there Pittsburgh is three and two and Vegas is two and three uh, Pittsburgh is off back-to-back -back losses to Dallas and the Colts. Vegas lost to Denver. Pittsburgh won by five points last year. And the only thing I can lean here is maybe the over with Pittsburgh scoring just 17 points against Dallas or Vegas scoring just 18 points to Denver. I think Vegas can be an active dog and send this game over the post of the total. I think that's why they're only a small dog against Pittsburgh and because I, I think Vegas is going to be an active dog and I like the game to go over. As it relates to Atlanta and Carolina, I like the over there. Carolina is likely an active dog here. It just makes too much sense. 10 points last game. Obviously, Atlanta is a better team, but I can see an over here. Divisional game. Carolina is off of a terrible game. Horrible loss at the hands of the Bears. Atlanta is on a letdown, and after a huge win over Tampa Bay, um, I look for an over here. I think Carolina is going to be an active dog. They come off a terrible game, and I think Atlanta is going to have to score a lot of points to make a, sort of a comeback. I think Carolina is going to show up, and Atlanta is going to have to push the tempo to come back. So again, your free play today is on Oregon, Ohio State under. I also leaned on Ole Miss. I also talked about Florida today uh, over Tennessee. I also liked Houston Texans and the Tampa Bay New Orleans under and Pittsburgh Las Vegas over in the NFL and Atlanta Carolina over as well. And, um, you know, don't forget that, uh, you know, YouTube premium live show tonight uh, at around 930, you get a basically a 12 hour head start before everybody else, which is I can't tell you how how much of a head, how much of a huge massive advantage that is. And I will have your video for you early as well uh, in the NFL. We're gonna have a lot of thought. I'll have all the NFL thoughts outside of the selections that I'm not using, and I'll try to have some uh, uh, some NHL thoughts for you uh, as well. And obviously, NBA is just around 11 days away, so be sure to join for that NHL back-to-back -back winning selections in the NHL. So be sure to jump on the NHL package as well. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.